In this next video, we're going to be converting this into a pickup truck. We're going to get rid of the hard top and fill in the back with a back window, just like a truck. Back seats are going to come out. I'm going to start with that. That there looks a little bit better. I know I said I'm going to convert this thing to a pickup truck, but I've already been using it as one. Here's the stopping point I got at tonight. Because unfortunately, since diesel's still my $6 a gallon, I'm daily driving this. Going to need a little rust repair. So we're back on the tracker today. And I went ahead and got all the pillars through the seat belt out and stripped it down. We're definitely going to have to do some sheet metal patching. But it's not too hateful. So, after I got it all cleaned out, I went ahead and got some cardboard. And started mocking up what I need. I think I'm going to fill the inside of these cavities with spray foam to kind of sound deaden and help insulate it. My piece of plywood cut out, it's three quarter inch thick plywood, had to have a full sheet because it's less than three feet tall but it's wider than four feet that way. So I'm going to fit it in there and see what it looks like. Got the bottom part shoved in there. Fits pretty good. I got about a quarter inch in spots, which is what I want. I want it to fit snug. And the way I'm running this here is so that this top piece will fit the whole way on the inside of this. And I can run screws into here and seal all around it. So that ought to work pretty good. The best way I can figure to get this up here and get it cut to shape is to set it up here and trace it. So I've temporarily put a 2x4 on here so it'll sit. And I've got this braced with little L brackets. And it cut out just a little bit big, which is fine. I can always take more off. Can't put it back. After some trimming and sanding, it fits in there pretty good. Everything lines up. Just a few gaps to fill with silicone. Cut a hole for a window. So I put my rear speaker panels in there and marked them. I'm going to trim this off, the vinyl off to here, cut this, and I can wrap it. And whenever I put them back in there, they'll be in the right spot and cut off the right length. I can't say that it was really worth the time and effort to do this, but. Details help. So I went ahead and cut out the, the spots that need repaired real bad. So I can weld in a few patches. I went ahead and got one of these patch panels ready. I'm going to go ahead and tack it in here.
Well, I've got one patch in. I absolutely hate welding sheet metal. So I got all the my patch panels welded in. Then I cut panels to cover the holes. I'm just gonna self tapper those in because this is all gonna be bedlined anyhow. And then on the inside, I started filling the cavities with uh, expansion foam. And I'll trim that down. Those panels for the speakers. I'll cover all this up. Back onto the Geo Trucker build. I got me a rear window. Came out of a camper top for, for the back of a pickup truck. I think it'll go in there and fit pretty nice. and It ought to serve its purpose. Expansion foam that I used on the inside here was for big gap fillers. It kind of grew clear out of the thing. I'm gonna have to cut that off. So I took the back panel out and got it out here and laid my window on there and traced around the outside edge. But the lip is actually three quarters of an inch in. So I just measured it and took the big square. And now I'm cutting it out. fits in that hole perfectly I'll have to clean it up it's been sitting outside for a while I'm going to fill this in with some silicone or something make sure it doesn't leak the grinder and the wire wheel and went around everywhere where I'm going to silicone and then I wiped it down with lacquer thinner so hopefully that'll get any kind of oils and taking the wire wheel to it give it some abrasion to Give it something to grab onto. I got everything fitted back in there and siliconed up tight. These holes, the corners, I just pack them full. But the whole entire edge is siliconed in tight. This across here, bottom. And then this will all be covered with like rhino type liner. And I spray painted it black on the inside just to make it look a little better. I went ahead and scrubbed this window up and then taped it off. I'm going to paint the frame so it'll look a little better. For once in my life, I found a use for an instruction manual. So I got that frame painted all up and made it look nice and shiny. Well, while I was in here... And did all this I decided to go ahead and put a couple new speakers in there so I went ahead and got everything masked off for the spray-in bed liner so I've chose the Raptor spray-in bed liner kit it included the gun and four quarts of spray and hardener and stuff I know it'll be way too much for this little geo but I've got a few extra things that I could line with it. So I can honestly say I've never done this before. So we're gonna find out what's gonna happen. The bed liner is sprayed on. It uh, that wasn't a hard process at all. That went on really well, really easy. I think it looks pretty good. Up here to the geo, getting ready to put the back window in. Man, this spray and bed liner just turned out awesome. Just perfect. Windows all installed. 
It looks pretty good. And there it is, the Geo Trucker.